Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on integrating a Django schema viewer. So as you can see here we have a very fancy sort of interactive diagram where we can take a look here at all of the various models that we have for our Django application. And I'm going to show you how you can integrate this and how you can set it up. Right, so let's get started. Now we're going to utilize the Django schema viewer library. So make sure that you first of all have a Django project that you want to apply this to. I'd recommend that you have one where you have a lot of models that you've already set. So let's get started. Okay. So first thing you wanna do is we want to install Django schema viewer. So we're going to head on over to our application. Let me stop the server. And you just wanna say pip install Django schema viewer. So let's go ahead and install that. Okay, so it does have a few sub packages along with it. There we go. Clear that up. Next, we want to add in schema viewer to our list of installed apps. So we can go ahead and copy the following. Then we can go to our Django project settings.py file. Then we can scroll down to our list of installed apps. And you can really put this anywhere. I'd recommend just putting it at the end of your um, list here. I think it has quotes, yeah, it does. There we have it. Then we want to add the schema viewer URLs to our main urls.py file. So let's head on there now. So in our main urls.py file, let's just open this up. You wanna first of all also ensure that you have the include function in place here. Very important that you just go ahead and import that. And then you can directly add in this schema viewer URL. And you just wanna go ahead and paste that in, just like that. Okay, then we can go ahead and run our project. So there's a typo here, but we can just run pythonmanage.py run server. So let's do that. I'm gonna say pythonmanage.py run server. Okay, and of course, in my case, my application is up and running, but what you can do now is you can go directly to this URL. So I'm gonna right click, open that link in a new tab. And there we have it. We can now see if we were to zoom in, we can now see all of our models. So the default models that come with Django itself, such as all user, all user groups, Django session, the Django admin log, and here you can see in orange, it's gonna be your custom Django model. And what's very helpful here, as you can see all the information that's set. So for example, if I were to show you, if we go to my application, if I go to web app and to my models.py file, I have a model here called customer. You can see the various attributes or fields here, such as account created, first name, last name, email. And you can also see the data types that I have set into place for it as well, the max length and some of the data in place. And we can see here all of said data types. So I use a char, I have an integer for the ID account created with the date time field, which as you can see here was set there as well. And var char is seen as the char field that you add in. And we can also see here the max length as well that we have also set. So for example, 15 here for the phone, which of course we can see here is varchar 15, varchar 100 for the email, city, etc., And we can see that's denoted here. So any specific properties or anything that you add here, it's gonna be denoted on this area here. Okay, so that is how you can see a visualization here of your schema, very helpful, can be very useful. And you can see it's very interactive in this area here where you can just move on around. Now there are additional settings here that you can look into and some of that information here is displayed. So you can just go ahead and drop down. And of course there are some additional things that are being built in with this library as well. And of course you can choose to hide certain parts as well. So let's hide a few apps. And as you can see, they then are hidden from the schema itself. Okay, so I'd recommend just going, aha going ahead and just taking a look at what's available. Another feature which is very helpful is if you want to export an image of a certain set of models here that you may want to use for auditing or compliance, or if you have a dev team or a group developers or a sole, if, or if you're a sole developer, and you just want to just home in on a specific set of models, you can just go ahead and click the export as option. And here are a few options here. So you can export as PNG, XML for draw IO if you have diagrams that you wanna mix and match. 
or if you want to set this up in HTML. So I have gone ahead and tested it with PNG. It's quite useful. So you can say export. And here it's going to go on ahead and set up a graph view in PNG format. You can open that up, of course. And here you can see that depiction here being displayed for you to take a further look. All right, guys, so that's it on this video tutorial. Just something uh, useful that I feel could be helpful to all of you here in terms of just visualizing your Django schema and having a look here in terms of all your models. It's very helpful if you have a lot of models in your application and you just want to visualize the entire process. Very helpful if you were to export it as a PNG, print it out, if you have a whiteboard, just stick it on there and just see how everything fits together for your application and such. But yes, guys, that's it for this video tutorial. And as always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.